Hello, and welcome to the second episode of my top 10 tube stations. Today, we are going to be looking at number 9, which is Tottenham Court Road. Tottenham Court Road is a station on the Central and Northern Lines, as well as the New Elizabeth Line, located in Zone 1 in the London Borough of Camden. The station is one of the busiest central interchanges on the tube, with it receiving 41 million passengers in 2019. The station is named after the road it sits on, although it is located on the junction between that road and Oxford Street, which created a naming dilemma that I will get onto later. The station originally opened on July 30th, 1900, with a brand new Central London Railway being the only line serving the station. Seven years later, in 1907, the Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead Railway constructed a station nearby, although it was initially named Oxford Street, and was completely separate from the Central London Railway Station. The name was soon quickly changed to Tottenham Court Road, with the station being named as such to the north, being renamed Goode Street. Eventually, in the 1920s and 30s, with the arrival of escalators and the amalgamation of all the tube lines, the two stations were eventually connected and became one whole station. The station stayed in roughly the same state until the 1980s, when it was modernised as part of London Underground's modernisation programme, although beforehand the station featured in the 1981 film An American Werewolf in London, the most prominent feature of the new modernisation being the new pop artwork done by artist Edward Pelotzi, the most prominent being the arches above the main escalators. However, barely even 20 years later, the approval of the Crossrail project necessitated a significant rebuilding of the station. As part of the rebuilding of the station, completely new entrances were constructed. The Digger Hall was significantly expanded and new escalators were constructed for the Northern Line, relieving pressure on the old escalators which were to be used solely for the Central Line. All of the original entrances to the station were to be demolished, with the exception of the entrance beside the Dominion Theatre, which has been kept. Most of Palazzi's 1980s mosaics were restored and remained in place even after the rebuilding work, including the famous disused lift shaft. Hello! Unfortunately, the arch mosaics above the escalators were removed as part of the upgrade works. The station did get some colourful, inspiring shape art at the new entrances, though. After many delays, the now-named Elizabeth Line finally opened on May 24th, 2022, with me being one of the people to be on the first train to stop at Tottenham Court Road that morning. This also came along with new entrances at the other end of the new Elizabeth Line platforms. The sheer scale of the Elizabeth Line part of the station is absolutely astonishing and makes the standard tube areas feel a little bit disappointing in comparison. The reason why I like this station is because unlike a lot of the other central interchanges in London, this station does have a calm and pleasant feeling and the mix of the Palazzi mosaics and the modern styling works very well for me. Anyway, that is going to be the end of today's video. Please stay tuned for number 8 in a few days as we count down my top 10 favourite tube stations.